What is up guys, it's your boy Hercules and we are back at it again. This is episode two of Hercules Hernandez Unexplained Stories. Now, this is not gonna be a story about me. This is actually a story that is uh, breaking the world right now, pretty much. And that is Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, P Diddy, whatever you wanna call him. This whole story is just very very confusing and the reason why it's in this category of my channel of unexplained stories because i really can't explain it to you look we've all heard rumors of puff daddy being a little bit on the fruity side right and if you don't know what on the fruity side is it means he was gay or something like that well we first got a hint of something big hitting Diddy. And it was the whole, uh, uh, his ex-girlfriend or baby mama, whatever it was, um, suing him for allegedly uh, sexual abuse, sexual something, stuff like that. I believe she was a singer, right? So we heard all that. And then what happened? Like a day later, they settled in court. So to me, your story is over. You settle. You're done. You can't talk anymore about this guy because you, you took the easy route instead of taking this son of a bitch to court, right? That's the way I look at it stuff. And if you don't like that, that's totally fine. Then we start hearing former, uh, I believe, former producer, writer of that work with Didi coming out and just spilling the beans, man. And one of the things that we heard was Diddy and Meek Mill playing Fruity Fruity against each other. Then we started seeing some pictures. Uh, we saw we started seeing videos. During the, there was that video of Meek Mill in the pool and Diddy coming up to him, calling him daddy, which I've never heard any other man call another person daddy unless you're fucking around and just playing. But... This did not look like they were joking around because it did not look like that. Okay. It did not look like that. Uh, oh my God. Then you also had the whole Meek Mill rapping. And then he's talking about smashing this one girl or, or smashing a girl or something like that. And then Dee, Dee turns around and he's like, what girl are you talking about? Because the one smashing was me doing you. That kind of video. It was so weird, dude. Oh, my God. But then we started getting those stories. Then we started getting that he potentially was sick, uh, trafficking little kids and maybe females and then maybe buying drugs from out of the country and all oh, a lot of shit started happening. And I still sit here and say innocent until proven guilty because we haven't seen any fucking evidence. But I am not sitting here saying, I believe Puff Daddy is, is uh, innocent. No, 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 no. I'm just waiting for the evidence to show me and prove to me that, yes, this, mu this dude was sick. But then you start, you then you have to start realizing that, okay, if he's this sick about his other stuff, what else could he have done? Ring, 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 ring. Anybody remember Tupac? Remember, he was supposed to come back in 2014, right? I believe it was 2014 that he was supposed to come back. Never came back. So most likely Tupac is dead. There's still a little slight chance that maybe he is in Cuba or somewhere else. But let's just say he's he's actually 100% dead, which I believe he is dead. Who killed Tupac, right? Who shot Tupac? Well, we've gotten some people to claim that they know who did it. Then we got some people that actually spill the beans on themselves. But there's always been that one theory out there. The Puff Daddy actually put a hit on Tupac, allegedly. 
And then, remember Biggie? Supposedly, there were rumors that he was going to leave Bad Boy. That he had a falling out with Puff Daddy. It just makes you wonder, man. It makes you wonder what actually happened to Tupac and Biggie. Allegedly, right? Then we had those whole stories of 50 Cent saying that Diddy wanted to take him out to uh, take him shopping, which, again, no other man would ever tell another man that. They'll, they'll probably say it in another way, like, hey, man, you want to go out? You want to go out eat? Let's go out eating. Ah, oh, nah, man, I'll take care of it. Nah, 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 I got this one. You get the next one, right? Something like that. But shopping? That's, that, that is totally a female thing. You only do that for a female, not a male. I don't care what, unless you're gay, then that's totally fine. Which I'm pretty sure for for Puff, it was totally fine saying that to 50, thinking 50 might be maybe on the fruity side too. But 50 ain't fruity. Then you have the whole baby mama of 50 Cent supposedly being a, a sex worker for, for Diddy and another female, young Miami, something like that, supposedly being a young uh, sex worker also and a recruiter and also someone that buys drugs for Diddy. There's a lot of shit going out there that is very unexplainable. It's a, it, it fits... It fits the channel. It's an unexplained fucking story. I can't explain it to you. It's so fucking ludicrous. Then you have Cat Williams calling out the whole Hollywood. And then he throws shade at Puff Daddy too. Saying that if Daddy, if Didi asks you to party with him, you tell Didi no. Then you have a video of Mike Tyson hanging out. And uh, I believe it was... With uh, one of the brothers of the the Wayans brothers at a TV show that that he used to host, and Diddy was one of the guests too. And you see Mike Tyson grab Diddy's hand, like basically telling him, "Hey, get your hand out of like something like that, right?" He's like, "Get your hand out of here, boy!" And Mike Tyson feels like he's he's about to just throw hands. At Puff because Puff is trying to make trying to test to see if uh, if Mike is a little fruity too, and we know if Mike ain't fruity, he's just a little special, and not special. I don't mean special like that. I just mean he's he's a special guy. He's he's different. He's very different. The dude trying to grab Hasbulla like a little kid, not knowing Hasbulla is like freaking thirty years old. <laughs> It's so weird, the shit that's going on in this story. And now, the latest was the FBI raided the whole uh, uh, Puff Daddy's houses and all that crap. And we don't know if they actually got stuff. Uh, one of the things that we did hear was uh, uh, there's a lot of names being redacted. But one of the names that wasn't redacted was uh cuba gooding jr cuba gooding jr being involved in one of the parties of puff daddy and actually assaulting one of the guys that is suing puff daddy so we we got that in the records and i mean cuba gooding jr has been in legal trouble for a long time now uh so yeah man it's a lot of crazy shit uh, you do have people on the right and on the left saying that, oh, look, there's a picture of Puff Daddy with Donald Trump. There's a picture of Joe Biden, the Barack Obama with Puff Daddy. Then you had the whole uh, couple of years ago, you had Puff Daddy basically being a being a sex worker for uh, the Democrats, pushing the narrative of we got to get rid of people like Donald Trump. We don't need people like Donald Trump. We need people like Joe Biden. So there's a little bit of everything in this fucking story. It's so crazy, dude. It involves everything. Hollywood, music, sex trafficking, little kids, 
uh, it could possibly include Tupac, Biggie, uh, Democrats, Republicans, everything. And then the last thing I'm going to say before I end this video, nobody knows where this man's at. Nobody knows. As far as I can tell, nobody has found him. He hasn't been arrested. Last thing I know is that there are rumors that he potentially fled the United States and is never coming back. So that just makes you wonder what else goes on in Hollywood, music industry, in politics that we the regular folks don't know makes you wonder but i'll i'll end the video right there guys let me know what you guys think down below if you guys enjoy this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe share the video leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this story what are your thoughts on this story do you think he's innocent do you think he's he's guilty do you think anything else do you think maybe he hit he put a hit on biggie and tupac let me know allegedly and uh, yeah, man, it's weird. But yet again, this has been Hercules Hernandez, Unexplained Stories, Episode 2. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.